Good morning everybody and welcome back to the fourth part of the horror game series where today I'm going to be showing you how you can make this monster bot disappear and reappear. So yeah, it's quite easy and yeah, without further ado, let's cut all the waffle and let's go! Right, so let me just clear up some uncertainties here. So some of you are probably still wondering how does this game actually work? Well, let me just give you a quick rundown. So you see here we have a monster bot. This is just a small room. This is going to be a small sector of the map. We're going to build on from here. You can already see I've started to build a little bit more. But it's going to be like one big maze. And when the lights are on, you're going to have to try and find clues. And when the lights are off, uh, the monster is going to appear and he's going to try and find you. So what we're doing today is making the monster disappear and appear. So when the lights turn on, the monster disappears. And when the lights turn off, the monster appears so yeah it should be pretty easy and without further ado let's go so to start what i've done here is i've literally just gone to plugins build rig block rig and there we go you can use any any kind of uh rig you like you can use uh, an afro you know you can use you can use anything you know, uh, let me have a look man rig yeah you can use anything it doesn't really matter but the whole point is you have like a base monster this is just a little example you of course you can have any any character you like. SHUT UP! Right, so, to make this monster disappear and reappear, we need to make a script. So to do that, we're going to go to server script service, click the plus, and we're going to go to script. In the script, we need to, first of all, make a variable, and that's going to be local monster is equal to game.workspace. What's it called? Dummy. So pretty much we're just getting the, where is it? This dummy right here. Right, okay, so another really cool thing about this is that it requires a while true do loop, okay? So, oh, whoops. So first of all, what we're gonna write is a Boolean value. So we're gonna be writing entity, or actually let's go monster, visible as equal, and we're gonna set this to true. We're gonna go down and we're gonna start our while true do loop. So while true do, and then we're gonna go down, make a lot of space, and then I'm gonna do wait two seconds. So this is how long we're gonna wait for it to reappear and disappear. Actually, I'm gonna do five seconds. And then we're gonna do if entity visible. Why am I doing entity? If monster visible equal equal to true, then game dot workspace dot entity. Why do I keep on doing this? And now, if you were here for the last video, uh, if you haven't seen this video, I recommend you go and watch it. If you if you were here for the last video, you actually probably recognize the code because the loop is very similar. Uh, all we're doing is just changing the, the, the code, but the whole structure, the base structure, is the exact same. So, if you guessed now, we're gonna change this back to, uh, we're gonna change this to false, is it equal to false, and there we go. And now, we can continue by doing our else statement, else, and we're gonna write n, now n back to nc again, monster.parent is equal to game, dot workspace and then monster visible is equal to true and there we go we're pretty much done uh and yeah wasn't that hard actually just bring this end back up now i can explain to you what's going on it's got our variable here we've uh, which is getting our monster we've got the boolean value which is very helpful later on and then we're going to go into the loop we're going to wait five seconds and then it's going to the code is going to ask if monster visible is equal equal to true is it equal to true yes it is then we're going to put game.workspace.dummy.parent, that pretty much means this, uh, is equal to game.replicator storage. Now, if you're wondering why I didn't actually write this, I tried doing that and it didn't work. So, yeah. So we're just going to stick with this. This works and it's, yeah. So, yeah, game.workspace.dummy.parent. This sets it to game.replicator storage. And if you're wondering if I put something in get replicated storage, then. Oh. Then it disappears. It's gone. It's still there, but it's gone. What? Now, after we've committed this, it now sets monster visible equal to false. And because we've done this, we don't do this. We go all the way back to the top, and we wait five seconds again. And now, because this is false, because this has been set, to, this has been set to false. If monster visible is equal equal to true, then, and it's not equal to true because we set it to false, it's going to go now here. So this is going to make it game.workspace so now this is going to make it reappear and then once again it goes back to true and then it does this false 
this and it just loops like that until we want to do something with it. Right, and now we can go ahead and test it and see if it is working. Right, so we've got this ambient light, we've got this ambient, we've got this buzzing noise, we've also got our character, we can see our character, and we've also got the lights flickering. But now, if we look at the main suspect, the monster, it's gone. Then it's back. If we get very close to it, there you go, it's gone. And then it's back. But yeah, I mean, that's it, we're done. And just like that, we have our light system and we have our monster system. These two bits are probably the most important, but the, but the rest is probably just like fine tuning and stuff like that. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you learned something from it and you found anything helpful, then please leave a like, subscribe. We're so close to uh, uh, what's called 900 subscribers. And I think we're even closer to 1,000 subscribers. So yeah, help me get to 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.